yo what's going on youtube how you guys doing so today's video i want to showcase one of my favorite wraith add-ons that i feel like doesn't get enough love and that is the serpent if you guys have not seen this add-on it's an add-on where when the wraith kicks a pallet or a generator he completely uncloaks after the kick it's kind of an interesting little add-on that like saves you some time and then like uncloaks yourself for you after performing a kick and it's very niche but you definitely can make like add-ons and builds around this so that's kind of what we're doing right now i'm currently combining it with the purple shadow dance add-on which is pretty much the go-to this makes it so that while you're cloaked you kick everything faster as well as doing basically everything else faster you vault things you open lockers you do everything faster but one of those things you do faster is you kick things faster which is really good in combination with serpent on top of that our whole build is kind of based around things that work well with this we have Brutal Strength that helps us obviously kick gens and pallets faster to help us save a little bit of time and help us uncloak a little bit quicker. We're actually running Enduring with it because if we try to respect pallets too much to, to, to kick them, then the survivors will get used to that. So sometimes you have to run into pallets and kind of let the survivors know that you're not afraid to be stunned. Well, I'll kind of explain this more later. If you keep watching the video, I'll probably explain why Enduring is important in this build because it might seem a little bit out of place. We also have Pop Goes the Weasel, which is obviously it, it kicks gens and it regresses them, which is really good. And it also uncloaks you so that has, has a bunch of synergy as well. And Thrilling Tremors is the last one to go along with Pop so that after we hook somebody, we can see what gens are being worked on, run straight over to them and then kick them with Pop Goes the Weasel and then uncloak in their face. That's pretty much it. The whole idea behind this build is that you either uh, let them drop the pallet while cloaking and then you kick the pallet and instantly uncloak and chase after them. Or you run up to a gem with pop, kick it, and then immediately chase them. It's meant to just save you a little bit of time with the uncloak process. So you can kind of play more aggressively. And let's see how it works. Let's give it a go. Okay. Oh, this is actually, I think, maybe a good map for this. Bad in preschool. Because there's a ton of pallets in this map. And they're not, like, very good. Actually... That might make it bad because there's so many pallets. Now not, not that I'm thinking of it, I think the fact that there's so many pallets might actually mean that it's not good. I don't know. I don't know, actually. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to kind of just see how it plays. Yo, what's up, dudes? All right, like, right off the bat, we're not going to do anything crazy. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to, like, stop them and then kick the freaking gen just to get, you know, serpent value or anything. That's not really necessary. But situations like right here, you can just cloak, kick this instantly uncloak like look at how nice that is look at how pleasant that interaction was just now look at how much time was saved we like kicked the shit out of that and then we just like immediately got back on it like that was a hyper kick oh my god dead hard though what the hell are you doing what the hell are you doing dwight what the figgity fuck okay all right all right, all right, all right. so they'll probably they're probably gonna be but wow wait they're not back on that gen what the hell are you doing are they not on any gens? Ah! Doesn't appear that they're on any gens. Interesting. I was like ah! looking for a gen to kick. It was hard to tell with all the auras of the hooks, but I'm pretty sure they weren't on any gens as far as I can see. Yo, what up, doy? Ah! What up, dog? What it do, bruv? He's just gonna suicide bomb that hook, isn't he? Yep. He's just he's just death hooking. Yep. 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 He is just ah! he is just dying. Yep, that is definitely what he is. Just he is 100%. Where'd you go? He is 100% just dying. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what's going on here. Okay then. All right. I mean, this gen should still be a little bit worked on. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel value, baby. Pop goes the weasel value. I'm just gonna. No, don't kill yourself on hook. No, don't do that. Yo, what in the fuck, dude? Don't do the same thing. Come on, don't do the same thing. Stop it. Stop it, don't do the same thing. Okay, touche. I mean, I'm still gonna get the hit, but touche. He killed himself What hook, dude, what the fuck? Oh my God, it's a wraith. Bro, why are you killing yourself on hook against a wraith? Come on, man. Yo, how how do you please survivors in current year? Like, what, what, oh, nice dead hard. Amazing dead hard, by the way. Fantastic dead hard. Like, what do you do to please survivors? You know? Like, if I'm playing spirit or like, you know, if I'm doing some like annoying shit, like if I'm doing like basement trapper where I like 
you know, place all seven traps around the basement and then hook everyone in basement or whatever. Like, if people want to kill themselves and hook against that, I'm like, you know what? I get it. I understand, you know? I'm not, I don't necessarily support it, but I get it, you know? But, like, dude, I'm a wraith. I'm a freaking wraith, dude. Like, how, how much, like, like, less threatening do I have to be? <laughs> like, what do I have to do to get you to not end your life on hook? I don't understand. Also, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was not. Ooh, I'm too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. I got the jukes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wasn't paying attention to Thrilling Tremors. Dead Heart? Wow, she doesn't have Dead Heart? That's surprising. She plays like a survivor that would have Dead Heart. Anyway, I wasn't really paying too much attention to Thrilling Tremors. So, like, I'm not getting any Pop Goes the Weasel value. Oopsie. Oops. Oopsie. But, like, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Because, again, the dude killed himself one hook. I don't think we're going to have any problems with, like, gen slowdown. I don't think they're going to get all the gens done. Hey, dude. How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh. My pop goes the weasel value. How could you? Oh, my God. You sandbag, dude. Oh, my God. This Dwight is brutal, dude. That was a brutal sandbag. Damn. See, right there, I was really hoping he would drop the pallet. That way, I could just insta-kick it. And then continue with my life. But I think this is why we need enduring. We need to like we need to we need to like punish that, you know? Like we need to like let him know that we're not afraid to get stunned. That's like that's the big reason why we have enduring on this build is because we need the survivors to not like you know, we need we need to we need to, we need the survivors to think we're not afraid to get stunned. Also, this isn't really working with this Dwight because he's literally just leaving. He's just leaving the pallets. So, like, he's not trying to loot them. So, I don't really even need to break them, you know? This is kind of a weird situation where... Normally, on, like, most maps where the, where the pallets are really strong, like, he would stay there. What are you doing? Ah! He would stay there, and then I would kick it, and then he would get, like, no distance, right? Like, that's, that's ideally how it plays out. But because these pallets are kind of weak, and also because this Dwight is just kind of, like, leaving the pallets right away, I don't even really get a chance to, like, use my serpent. Damn, that Dwight's dead already? Shit. I gotta hook that Kate. I think she's the only one I haven't hooked yet. I mean, I don't even have barbecue, but still, just for the sake of spreading... Spreading hooks. Getting blood points, you know? Where the f... Where did they go? Okay, I hooked her, like, around the preschool, right? I believe it was, like, right here. It's the Nia and the Kate left. Right? I think it was a Kate, anyway. Unless I'm crazy. I'm pretty sure it was a Kate. Dude, where are they? Have they, have they resorted to stealth? Oh, God. Oh, I didn't give myself any tracking perks. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. I didn't give myself a single tracking perk. Not a single one. I was like, yo, I'm Wraith. Who needs tracking perks when I'm Wraith? But I think... Oh. Thank the Lord. What up, dude? Ah, man, I'm getting that sweet, sweet pop goes the weasel value. Oh, my God, I'm lost. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore me getting lost. Pretend I uh, pretend I I was right on her trail. There we go. Whew. Whew. Sweet value, baby. Sweet, delicious value, baby. Oh, my God. You got so much distance on me from getting lost. Holy, dude. All right. All right. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm almost there. I'm on my way. You're going to fake that. Wow, you didn't fake that. Interesting. I really thought she would fake that. I'm going to pretend to moonwalk, and then I'm going to not moonwalk, and then I'm going to hit her on the medium vault. This Nia, like, clearly seems to know what she's doing, at least a little bit. She's got that, like... I don't, I don't want to call it cocky, but she's got, like, the almost, like, cocky flashlight survivor gameplay shit going on, right? Like, I feel like she's probably watched, like, Noob 3 and, like useless and Aaron and they're and she's like I can do that you know like it's one of those types of deals so I feel like when you get a survivor like this uh you can kind of like expect them to mostly know what they're doing and stuff like that little double moonwalk mind game works really fucking well like really really well because if they're paying attention oh well they definitely were here hello 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 oh it wasn't a Kate it was a Zarina I am dumb I am literally dumb. Goodbye, pallet. I am literally so dumb. I kept calling her Kate, man. That's, that is not a Kate. 
That's not even close to a Kate. Right, right, right. I mean, honestly, I could just tunnel that guy. Because he kind of seemed like he wanted to get... I could have just hit her. I could just hit her again. This is so unnecessary. This is so extremely unnecessary, but I just want to get serpent value. Look at that serpent value, baby. Ignore the fact that I could have hit her like four times. And look at that fucking value, baby. Value, baby. I wasn't sure if she had dead hurt or not. Uh, she, in fact, did not have dead hearts, but I wasn't sure. Holy shit, Nia. Did you see that value? Did you see that value, Nia? Holy shit. Wow. And I guess that's the game. I don't know. I, I, I This is kind of a weird one because, like, the dude killed himself early. This Nia was, you know, she was, she was definitely a Nia. She was certainly a Nia. That's for sure. She definitely tried to make some plays. That's for sure. Okay, if you Kobe, I'll give you hatch. If you Kobe, I'll give you hatch. Do it. Do it. I'll give you hatch if you can do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is so sad. This is so sad. GG. Alright, alright, what's going on here? A uh, bunch of emblems. Uh, sure, sure, sure. You literally played like a fucking octopus. But what? What does that even mean? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? How does one play Dead by Daylight like an octopus? Wait, what? I cannot wrap my brain around what this guy means. You played... Bro, you look like a lobster. What the hell is this guy talking about? I'm just gonna say, oh, I get it. I get it now. Thanks. GG's. Uh, I don't... I don't I, spoiler, guys. I don't fucking get it. I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about. I have zero idea. I don't know. This guy, I, who fucking knows? GG, boys. Uh, I, I really don't feel like I showcased it enough though i i think that was not a great map for it i think like a more standard map just like an azeroth's map or something or like a or like a farm map would probably be better so i mean we all know that i'm gonna go again but I, i'm gonna go again and hopefully we'll get a better map that can showcase it a little bit more but geez all right guys we're gonna do the exact same build again except this time we are going to a auto haven wreckers map because i feel like that'll probably make it a little bit more accurate right i feel like this build works with like the quote-unquote standard maps and palettes i guess is what i would call them i don't really know like you know you, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know what i mean like for instance like the original maps like farm maps macmillan maps they have really really strong palettes and not very many of them but then some of the new maps are kind of weird maps like larry's has barely any palettes maps like batham has like a lot of palettes but they're not very strong uh hawkins for instance has like a bunch of palettes that all suck ass like, a lot of the newer maps are kind of different than, like, the older ones. And I feel like this is more something that it's... It's not like this, this this build is useless on those new maps, but I think it's easier to showcase it on the old ones. So, anyway, we're going to Auto Haven. Let's give it a go. Let's go again. All right. Much better. Gas Heaven? You know, I say much better, but I'm probably jinxing myself. This is probably going to go terribly. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a great map. So much better than the last one. And I bet I'm going to get nothing at all out of this. But I like, uh, wait, look at that. Look at that value. Look at that value. Look at that. Who needs the uncloak? Not me. I, you know what? I don't, I don't think I actually gained any distance there. I'm pretty sure that was pretty much about the same. Is she? Okay. All right. You were really patient there. You were ridiculously patient. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Anyway, um... Yeah, uh, I... I don't think that, that gen kick... I don't think I actually gained any distance. I think that might have not been the play. But, however, you can also do stuff like this, where you kind of, like, start to uncloak, and then, like, well, I was gonna bait him into dropping the pallet, but he just didn't drop the pallet. Like, okay, what I was trying to do there was I was trying to, like, uncloak to, like, 90%. 
and make that guy drop the pallet. Shit, I gotta get over there or in there. I was trying to like bait him into dropping the pallet. I actually want to get this one. Like this is like a lot better of agenda to defend, I think. Oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time, I don't think. They like have that shit done. Yeah, nope, unlucky. Anyway, I was trying to cloak to like, I was trying to uncloak to like 99% to kind of bait them into uh, dropping the pallet. That hurt? And then canceling my uncloak and then kicking the pallet, which is again, something that I kind of want to show at some point. I'm actually gonna chase this guy away because I want to kick that gen over there with pop. I just want to get my pop value, dude, you know? I just want my pop, oh my, it's barely even worked on, dude. Oh, it's not even worth it. I thought that thing was going to be like 80%. Oh, the, the, the humanity. All right, it's okay. I'm going to go back. They just healed up this dude. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad play on my part. I shouldn't have done that. This is why, like, I very often don't run perks like Pop Goes the Weasel because I feel like I end up just baiting myself into making really dumb plays like that. Like, that was such a bad play. I should not have done that at all. Are you going to take that window? What the hell are you doing, dude? What, that was like the weirdest movement. I don't know what the hell she was like do doing, I guess. I just don't know. She like kind of like went out and looked like she was going to fast vault the window. But then when she like went to fast vault the window, she went at it at like a really bad angle to the point where like I would have hit her anyway, even if she fast vaulted it. So I'm not really sure what her plan was there. But uh, oh, I thought I just saw someone here. Did I not? Are you are you breaking my bones? Ma'am, those are my bones, ma'am. Yo, what is going on, dude? I can't tell if these guys are geniuses or if they're like not geniuses. <laughs> that, that, that's the opposite of a genius, right? A not genius? So I want to chase this Jake. I feel like this Nia might have DS still. She just got unhooked semi recently, right? Like sort of Am I losing my mind? I don't really understand, like, what the fuck. What is he doing? Bro, what was that? What the fuck? I don't know. Why am I even cloaking? I can just literally follow them around, and they're just going to, like, kill themselves. Like, what was that battle throw, dude? What is going on? I'm so confused. I don't think I need to cloak here. Is there, is there a... Oh, wait. I think there probably is a pallet here. All right. Yeah, see, like, that's what we can do, and then we can kick it. And then look at that. Look at that. He gets nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Like, that was pretty good serpent right there, you know? It's like like people that, that, that camp pallets, especially, like, these add-ons work really good against people that camp pallets. Unfortunately, <gasps> I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even paying attention. It's okay. We got, we got this one. Uh... Shit, what was I even saying? Oh my god, that saddle completely threw my whole mind off track. Anyway, uh, yeah, we can't get much pop because of weasel value, unfortunately, because they keep, like, popping gens right, right when we're about to hook someone. They're like, oh, we got a gen done. Ha <laughs> ha. So, um, listen. Listen, I can explain. I just got a new PC. My sensitivity is too high. I've been avoiding... Listen, listen. Allow me to explain, Okay. I've actually been avoiding fixing my sensitivity because I didn't want to do it while recording. But that 360 is making me do it, okay? Um, I normally play on 8% uh, and then 100% controller, okay? All right, there we go. I did it. I did. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. I literally, the, sec the second I picked him up and I couldn't move, I knew. I knew what was going on. I knew it was happening. This is so sad. This is so fucking sad. Dwight, what are you doing? What are you doing, you goober? Oh, yeah, this this feels much better. We already got rid of this pal, didn't we? Do you have dead art? No. No, you don't. No, you do not have dead art. Oh, oh yeah. Th th this is the good shit. This is the real good shit. FYI, I play, like, every game on ridiculously low sensitivity, by the way. Like, my, my DPI is 400, and I play 8% killer sense. And this is, this is how I am with, like, every game, by the way. Like, every, like, FPS game, every game I play ever, I play on, like, stupid low sensitivity. It's really weird. I don't know why it's a thing. It's just something I've always done. People call me weird all the time, and I probably am. Hey, dude. See, this is... 
Mm, dude. Wah, chef's kiss, dude. That's like a chef's kiss moment right there. That's that's the good shit. That's the real good shit. See here, we can just kick this like instantly, and we uncloak so she can't get anywhere, and she's dead. Dead. D e d dead. She gets no distance. Do you have that art? I don't think she had that art before. Like she just gets no distance. She gets no distance whatsoever right there. You know, like that's like that's the kind of situation where these add-ons are just nutty, dude. Just completely nutty. I don't know what gen there's is being worked on, if any. I know I saw like the dude by Shaq. I think it was like a Kate or something. And then they they also I also hooked the guy over here. I was gonna say I'm guessing over here. Hey Dwight, how's it going, buddy? Hello, friend. Is he just gonna I'll let him go. I have pop, so it's not crazy for me to come over here. Kick this gen, chase this Kate. This is actually a pretty good play. If I wasn't running pop, I would definitely commit to that Dwight. But because I'm running pop, this becomes a much more enticing play. Hey, dude. Why did I? Why am I baiting on dead hard whenever he's full health? What? Hello? Hello? Tofu? Hello? Are you there? Knock knock. Hello? Is your brain working? Doesn't have balance landing. Do you have dead hard? Do it. Do it. Do it. No one has dead hard in this game, right? I don't think a single person has dead hard in me, yet I'm still terrified of dead hard. I will never not be terrified of dead hard. Like, even if, even if, like, the people come into the name, uh, like, 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 come into the game and their names are like, I hate dead hard one, I hate dead hard two, I would still be terror, like, terrified. Also, I don't think I'm gonna get this hook now. I thought that back door would be open, so I was gonna go to the basement, and then it was closed. That's really sad. I love map RNG. I really, really love map RNG. I probably should have just dropped him and like let him be slugged, but I'm, I'm stubborn. What can I say? I'm fucking stubborn. What? Why would you stop here? This is like the worst pallet ever. What the fuck? What are these guys doing? Like, what the hell was that? Bro, I don't understand. Like, so like if I stop and then just swing, is she dead? I, like, I cannot comprehend what it is that these guys are doing. Like, like, literally, if I just... Sw <laughs> Bro, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Yo, what is this match right now? Holy shit. I, my brain is just fried, honestly. My brain is just fried. Like, that... Yo, she... I feel like that Kate was just playing that pallet so weird. That, like, I couldn't even comprehend what she was doing. And then it, it, it like, jumbled my, my brain, you know? Ah! I didn't know how to act. I didn't know how to live. And then I ended up walk, walking into another... That was, like, the second pallet save. Dude, I've got pallet saved twice. I freaking picked up a Survivor Under God pallet and got saved. This has not been the great, uh, the, the best match for me. Oh, they're right on this gen. Oh. Oh, hello. No! I hate Pop Goes the Weasel, dude! This perk sucks! This perk's trash! I hate it so much! This happens all the time when I run this perk, man. I just like... I, I, I know agenda's being worked on, and I go over to it, and it pops right before I get there. It happens every time. Every single time. Pop Goes the Weasel is a trash perk. It's a terrible perk. It's awful. Alright, there's really no point in me... I know there's a couple people here, but there's really no point in me staying here, because like... All the gens are over here. <gasps> Yo, what's up, dudes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I'm down. Yeah, no, you you don't have to. Yeah, no, like, I'm down. You don't gotta, like, make a point to, you know. Bro, where are you going? But the pallet, where are you going? There's nothing back here. Why are you back here? What the hell are you doing? I'm still, I'm still convinced, guys. I'm convinced they're gonna dead hard me. I am 100% convinced. You cannot tell me otherwise. These guys are going to deadheart me. I'm going to get deadhearted. It's gonna happen. She's dead. Those guys all healed. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they all healed like over there. Like all three of them. I could be wrong. Maybe, like maybe one of them healed solo, but it kind of seems like all three of them healed over there. Hello, Kate. Oh, I'm kind of worried about the gens, but again, I'm pretty sure they were all over here. Yeah, there, there's one there. Yeah, I think I'm safe to just chase this Kate. I think this is totally fine. I maybe could have just hit her, but like... Serpent, baby. 
serpent, baby. They're gonna dead art me, dude. They're gonna do it. I'm terrified. I'm freaking terrified, man. Throwing tremors? Okay, so they're on that left gen. I can go hook her, and then I can run over to that gen, and it definitely won't get done before I get there, right? Because I don't think it was worked on at all. So I swear to God, if they somehow get it done before I get there with Pop, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be fuming, steaming from the ears. I'm going to be so, so upsetty spaghetti. No, we're good. We have plenty of time. See, this is, this is a beautiful value. Look at that. Uncloak. Don't know where the Jake went. He's a stealth god. He's over here. Look at that, though. Look, look at that time efficiency. Wow. Wow, these add-ons. Wow, they're insane. Oh, I thought he would go to the window, but he like... Like, what? Like, what? why did he not just go straight to the window? If he went straight to the window, he could... What? Why did he not grab him? What's happening? Somebody help! What? Why is he vaulting into me? Why, why are my grabs not working? What's happening? Yeah. Hey, I guess it's outplayed, man. Just outplayed. Dude, this whole match has just been one gigantic fiesta, dude. Just a big old clown fiesta. I don't, like, I'm playing like shit. They're playing like shit. We're all playing like shit. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a weirdly good time doing it, you know? It's one of those matches where, like, everyone is playing so bad that it's just fun. <laughs> you know? Like, if everyone sucks, then everyone just has fun. Also, wait, where I hooked her, like, right here, right? That's where I hooked her. So, I feel like they might come... I feel like I would come over this way. Especially knowing I ran that way. Just kidding. Just kidding. Never mind. They're right there. I was trying to think about what I would do as a survivor, but I guess that's completely irrelevant because these guys are not me. Yeah, do it. Drop it. See, this is where... Like, look at that. Kick instantly, uncloak. Look at how little distance he got there. Compared to, like, the distance he would normally get from that. Like, the amount of distance that a survivor normally gets from dropping a pallet and forcing you to kick it, they get so much distance if they just run away. But these add-ons, dude, I'm telling you. These add-ons mixed with, like, brutal strength, they get, like, no distance at all. It's so nice. Don't do it. Don't dead hard me. I know you're going to do it. You're going to dead hard me. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I haven't seen Hatch, but I also haven't been paying attention. I wonder if I... I wonder if I ran past it. It's definitely spawned. Get up there, Dwight. Oh, he's dead. I have no time to look. This guy's probably sitting on hatch, I would guess. I'm going to take a wild guess and say he's just sitting on it right now. And he's going to jump in the second. Well. I mean, if it's over there. Yep. I was going to say, if it's over there, I can't do anything about it. I can't get there in time. Yeah, he knew. He knew. I had to walk past that too. I, I was at that. I was at that maze tile so many times. All right, GG boys. That, that that one was better. That one was better. Even though I played like complete dog shit, that one was better and it was more fun. So, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. GG boys. GG. We got a ton of blood points. We did pretty well overall. We probably would have had a like almost perfect game had we just killed the last guy, right? I think. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, if we killed the last guy, we would have got the, the bonus points for killing all four, and then we would have got the site. Yeah, we, we, we would have had a perfect game, too, if we killed the last guy. So, hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. G to the G, my dudes. All right, guys, that's it for the Serpent video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This add-on is literally one of my favorites, honestly. It's such a fun little add-on. It's not, like, extremely OP or anything, but it's just, like, a fun little... It kind of, like, changes up the way you play a little bit, and I find that shit to be really fun, and especially in DBD, where, like, once you play the game for so long, it starts to get a little, like, you know, cut and dry, same shit over and over again. So, you know, being able to mix in different add-ons like this and, like, mix up the way you play definitely, like, makes the game... It, it freshens it up a little, you know? It, it, makes it, it makes it a little bit more fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to give it a like if you guys haven't already. Uh, 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 it really helps support me in the algorithm and all that and get my videos out there. Um, if you guys haven't stopped by my Twitch stream yet, I am live every night, six nights a Sorry. Six nights a week, almost every night. Six nights a week from 9 p.m. Eastern to 3 a.m. Eastern. And I know you guys are probably sick of me talking about this, but I'm going to keep talking about it because that's my main platform. I'm there a lot, hanging out, chatting to people. I love I love talking to the people that are hanging out in my stream. So feel free to stop by and say hi sometime. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and sub and all that stuff. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night. I'm getting out of here. Take care, guys. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. I'll see you later. See ya.